Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. Today, I'm gonna to show you what is probably one of the most iconic Chevrolets and the first ones that came with V8s. Tell you more in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, where we have close to 100 classic and collectible cars, everything from resto mods to street rods to born classics to what we're gonna show you about today, a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air convertible. Probably one of the nicest convertibles we've had in this uh, uh, age category in a long time. You can see all of our inventory at www.ellingsonmotorcars and you can take a look at it and see all our latest and greatest additions, the new ones, some that are actually on specials as well. So, but let's get it right down to it here. You're gonna probably wanna watch the entire video because we do a complete walk around, we do a cold start, so you get to see a real good representation of what this car really is. Now, this is what you call a body off restored car. Everything on this car has been touched, massaged, uh, done to the nth degree. This car is probably better than what it came from in the factory. Of course, in 1955, the 265 V8 was first introduced. And of course, this one does have the 265 and it also has the power pack, which means it's a four barrel with dual exhaust. Not only that, two other really nice options on this vintage car is power steering and power brakes. So you really have a car that you can get in turn the key and drive and enjoy. I mean, we're kind of spoiled people these days <clears throat> liking to have those uh, creature comforts like power steering and power brakes, but this one does have that on it. Uh, the other thing it does have that also is a really nice feature is the fact that it has radial tires with the correct wide white walls and the correct hubcaps for 1955. Uh, taking a look at the inside of the car, but you probably want to look at all of our stuff. You can go to Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We really always have interesting stories and interesting cars that we've had in the past and our current inventory as well. Uh, but getting to the interior of this car, absolutely beautiful. It has not been molested in any sense of the word. Original radio, original clock, original speedometer. And I think the speedometer shows a little over 52,000 miles, which we would have reason to believe probably is correct. Not many miles on it since it's been restored, but uh, that's kind of where that is at the moment. Beautiful steering wheel horn ring is in good condition as well. But yeah, take a look at this thing. Beautiful interior. Uh, it's got the white boot and a beautiful top as well. Uh, the other extra feature that this car has, which you don't see on very many 55s, is a Continental kit, which is a really kind of a nice addition. It really sets this car apart from the average 55 convertible out there. Also, it has the fender skirts, of course, and you know, all these little extra accessories that were all available from Chevrolet. Uh, come on down and take a look at this car in person if you'd like. If you're looking for an absolutely wonderful 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible, we've got it right on our sales floor. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5, and we're even open on Saturdays from 10 until 4. Come on down. We'd love to have you take a look. Nice heated indoor showroom, air conditioned in the summer. You name it, beautiful place to come and take a look. Uh, we're, your dream car probably is on our website and it's sitting here right today, so don't miss out because this one's probably not going to last long because it is a really outstanding example. Take care. See you next time. All righty, we are going to make sure that the top goes up on this car. I have no doubts in my mind that it does, but everyone likes to see that they are working and functioning. Let us pull this little lever right here. Oh, I guess it's a push in for... It's push in to go up. Every one of these old cars is a little different. I always put your visors down when you're gonna put a convertible top up. Just, you just don't want anything to hang up or catch or whatever. Would not be a good thing. Oh yeah, you can tell this is a nice top. The, all the rails are painted nice. The pads inside are like brand spanking new. Sure beats doing it by hand. Most of these cars of this vintage are power because they would be a little too heavy for someone to try to do.